Today we're going to be talking about virtual reality and the different devices that are currently out on the market for virtual reality. Uh, this includes headsets and um, phone cases as well. So today we're going to be going over the Open Dive, the Google Cardboard, and the Oculus Rift Dev Kit 2. So to begin, uh, a couple downsides and upsides to each device. So let's go over the Open Dive first. Well, I got this for free from from the I don't know if it's Dervios or Durvos or however they pronounce it over in Germany, um, but this was the first one I got. I actually got it for free because I registered as a developer, and it did come with the 3D printed headsets. Now the thing I do like about this is it does have a headband, um, unlike the Google Cardboard. Um, a couple downsides to it, one, as you can see, you can see right through it. So when I'm looking into it, I'm seeing the rest of the display that I'm not supposed to see. Um, the things I do like about it is obviously the headband and the fact that the lenses are easily adjustable on the inside, back and forth. They have an XY way of motion. They come in these little lenses here and you just put them in. Now, as far as actually purchasing the uh, phone case, I, I don't recommend it only because it is pretty flimsy 3D, plas 3D printed plastic. Um, I'm not sure if the retail or commercial version is any different. I remember on their site seeing one that actually had a door rather than two little X-cross brackets, which actually came broken in the box when I got it in the mail, so I basically just put some Velcro here so I could put my phone in there. Um, inside the box, you do get a Open Dive sticker. And also this little nifty uh, solar-powered flashlight. So um, compared to the Google Cardboard, it does exactly the same thing. The only difference is, is it doesn't have that little magnetic button switch there. But a lot of the apps still work on the Open Dive, and it's uh, it's a pretty interesting way of getting into VR. Um, if you have a 3D printer, okay, yeah, sure, you can download it, go ahead and print it, but uh, something tells me if you already have a 3D printer, chances are you can afford the Oculus or the Samsung gear. Okay, on to the Google Cardboard. The Google Cardboard comes in this nice little package. You just tear it open, and it does, some assembly is required, and it's really weird to fold, so it may take you about five or ten minutes to construct it. But when it's done, it it's for what it is, it's really amazing because you just you well, I can actually show you on my S5 here. You just you put your phone in, load up your app before you put it in the phone, and hold it up, and you're good to go. Um, keep in mind, both this and the Open Dive do require a gyroscope to really get the head tracking and the head movement. Um, now, if you just want to view a video or something in the stereoscopic 3D, that's absolutely fine, but without a gyroscope, it's kind of pointless. The downside to the cardboard is the very little lenses. You kind of get tunnel vision when you're looking into it. However, depending on your phone, and this is really interesting, you do not get the screen door effect like you do on the Oculus. Um, so when I'm looking in this, it's actually crisper and clearer than the Oculus Dev Kit 2. But then again, keep in mind the uh, Oculus Dev Kit 2 is still a prototype. It is not the commercial release. Um, which makes me really interested to try the Samsung Gear VR because it's a newer screen, a higher resolution screen that, for the Note 4 than the uh, Dev Kit 2. However, they did explain that you're not seeing as much. So I'm assuming you might have a mild tunnel vision issue like you do on the Google Cardboard and an S5 or an S6, whatever you're using. Now, time to talk about the Oculus Dev Kit 2. Amazing piece of technology. I had a lot of fun with it, and I actually developed an app for it. Um, I also developed an app for the Google Cardboard. Both are about the same as far as development because Unity and the UDK engine are very 
um, similar in how they develop for each device. Just a matter of uh, loading in the SDK and loading in different files and scripts, etc. Now, as far as the actual device itself, um, one of the pros I like, bigger lenses. I My field of view surrounding me and my peripheral, much better than anything I've tried yet because of those bigger lenses and that bigger display. Um, the head tracking, even though it's a cone head tracking, um, very, very, very responsive. I, I, in, I enjoyed it very much. The only thing I didn't like is kind of getting the perfect distance from it to get the perfect cone shape because um, it does not use a gyroscope for, well, it may have a gyroscope in it, but primarily it uses this, which is kind of like a little webcam, but it's it. if I had to compare it to anything, it's kind of like the Wii and Wii remote. Um, obviously, if you get out of range, it is not going to track your head movements as well, but as far as the visual overall, it is very nice. I cannot wait till the commercial release or a dev kit 3, whichever route they decide to take. Um, downsides to it. Uh, screen door effect. I'm actually going to put a link below of a Oculus simulator so you can actually see kind of what it looks like. I think they only show what the, the first Oculus Rift, the dev kit 1, looks like, not the dev kit 2. Um, but it gives you a better idea of visually how it looks and how clear it is, which that is one of the major downsides right now is the overall resolution. I guess that's very, it's still pixelated. If you look up to a screen door or look through a screen door, that's exactly how it looks. That's why it's got the name screen door effect. Now, as far as the actual setup for the Oculus, I did find it a little tedious, although, I mean, it's it's pretty easy. You're putting the square box in the square hole and whatnot. So the setup, the cables, I mean, it's going to take some time. Also, you have to download, you have to update the firmware, and um, also calibrating the visual for it. If you're going to use the Oculus, I would highly recommend plugging it up, installing all the software, going on to Steam, logging in, and try um, in mind VR because you can just hit direct to Oculus, it picks it up almost automatically, and you're in, you're playing, it's very easy to use, whereas if you're trying to do Dev Kit 1 stuff or some other things that do not allow the direct Oculus app, it is a little weird. You have to rotate screens, you have to set it to the second display, um, and other things like that. Now, as far as this current generation of VR versus the first generation, or the 90s generation, I would say, uh, significant improvement. I I was fortunate enough in 1994 to try uh, VR at Disney World, and then again in Chicago at Disney Quest, they had a lot of different VR simulators where they had the head tracking. Um, it was lower resolution, but it still looked pretty good. Um, but the head tracking has significantly improved. Obviously, the fact that we have higher definition displays, it has significantly improved. And my only fear right now is that a product is going to come out and be popular, but it is just not going to cut it, and it will ultimately destroy VR again. That is what I fear the most right now, is VR getting destroyed again. And I do not have to even bring it up, but sorry, this... If this was everybody's first experience with VR, this isn't even virtual reality. This is 3D display in one color. Do not have the misconception. This is not VR. Um, the only other thing that was even remotely close to this, as far as a commercial release in the first generation, was the virtual I.O., the SCUBA, and uh, Victor Max, Stuntmaster, also had one as well. Very low resolutions, not a lot of games or compatibility, but that it would be considered first gen versus what we have right now. And that's all I have today. Um, feel free to check the links below. I'm going to have my Google Cardboard apps down there and also my uh, Oculus Dev Kit 2 app down there. And a couple of other VR videos are on their way. So have a great one.